I gotta ask, Aquachari is clearly about unity and social consciousness, obviously. Would you guys mind speaking about your feelings on the Black Lives Matter movement? Because there's nothing more at the forefront right now in consciousness and news than there is that right now. Any, any thoughts? I'm gonna let some of the white people in this band talk about it. Very nice. I'm probably the worst white person to talk about this because <laughs> I've never grew up in a white neighborhood, so I wouldn't really know that. Um, okay. I grew up in Amityville, New York. Um, it's okay. a very multi, uh, a multiracial town and cultures um, mm -hmm. from all over. Um, although kind of segregated through North and South, which is unfortunate, mm -hmm. um, we do only have one school system, which means that everybody in Amityville goes to one school district. The school district happens to be predominantly black, um, so I'd say 90%. Um, okay. So I went to a school that was basically um, centered around a lot of black culture, Jamaican and Haitian, to be exact. Mm -hmm. um, so I kind of grew up learning all that music. It kind of shaped me into the musician and into the band I am in today. Um, and if it wasn't for those kind of cultures and that kind of upbringing, I wouldn't have the knowledge I have today of those cultures and that upbringing. So my advice to people of other cultures is to just get to know other cultures does it does it frustrate you that other you know white folks who didn't grow up in that kind of you know area that they don't get it um it does it's time to educate it's not time to segregate it's not time to be on left side right side up or down it's right. time to educate we are one nation and no matter what we're here so whether you like people or not they're going to be here so just get over it and start to learn about their cultures. I mean, we all eat ethnic foods. You like the food, right? So why don't you get to know the culture the too? The music. And the music. So you like reggae bands? Predominantly, a lot of our audience are white, uh, male, female audiences. It's kind of funny if they're you know, on the left side where they're not for. So uh, we'd love to have fans around us that appreciate life and love and unity just the same way we do. So we hope that everybody just gets to take advantage of you know, education on that. Anybody else in the care um, to chime Well, in? at the very least, uh, there's a lot of forces that uh, exist uh, within, uh, within like, our current culture, within world culture as well, that, like, sort of seek to divide the people and, uh, and sort of preach against uh, the brotherhood that we all have as, like, human beings. And uh, at the very least, um, I would say that, you know, what is happening right now and the changes that people are seeing and the fact that people are like you know what I'm tired of you know I'm tired of being pushed down I'm tired of being subjugated like this you know it's something that speaks to that creed of brotherhood you know for everybody you know and so I, I would say that at the very least you know that standing up standing up for those uh, that are less fortunate standing up to those that need to be stood up for and need to have that voice uh, is important you know and it's important not just for those people that need it most um, or for the communities that need it most but it's important for all of us you know and uh, Oh, the people. Yeah. Mr. Anderson, you want to weigh in? Why can't we all just get the hell along, man? That's yeah, what I say. Agreed. You know what? We're all human beings, and, and right here we're all Americans, you know? Yeah, yeah. So that's one thing, you know? I mean, that's what I got to say. And See, the most important thing that I say is, in November, get out and vote. Absolutely. Yes. I don't, I don't want to be left out. I just wanted to hear them talk first. By all um, means. So, um, I'm black, you know? Whoa. I, dude, I matter. <laughs> Come on. I matter. So, like, as far as... I was sure it was a killer... Matter, I was sure it was a killer people, tan, but go on. You know, and people <laughs> saying, oh, no, blue lives matter, this or that. It's like, people, come on, seriously, stop. Yeah, yeah. Me saying my life matter does not mean that Rob's life doesn't matter exactly. or any other people right. here. Why do, you think it's, well, why do you think it's taken that way? Um, because, all right, so cognitive dissonance is a very true thing. It happens. It's happened to me personally. It happens to every human being that is alive. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to see something, you will not see it. If you are not open to something, you will not see it. So right. what I'm suggesting to the masses out here is stop listening to so much of your media telling you how to think. Oh, yeah. And think about... Just how you experience. You go out and you see someone do nice for something else, someone else. It doesn't matter how they look, what they're doing. You see something nice and like two kids are playing. doesn't matter what color they are. It's beautiful. You smile. Your heart smiles. It feels good. Right? So embody the child that doesn't see hate, see any differences, any categories, religion, color, skin, you know, any of that. Be a human being and treat others as well as you want to be treated. If you see someone not being treated right, think about it. Treat, like, think about it. Black people don't want to be risen, like, rise above and be the one to take over. And I feel like that's a lot of the fear. Mm -hmm. And it's understandably so because 
someone always wants to rule, right? And they're mm -hmm. always telling you that someone wants to rule. But real talk, black people just want to be left the hell alone. For real. Just, just stop know. trying to hold a dude down. Because I'm just like, I have a son that is half white, and I don't want to teach him to hate his mom. There you go. I don't want to teach him to hate anyone. He's Amen. just, there you go. he's supposed to be able to grow up and be a human being and experience life. Mm -hmm. And I understand the history of how this whole world was taught to not like some people at this moment, then love them the next and so forth. And it's going to change for black people. And we're going to hate someone else. How about we try to stop all of that? Right. And just be the utopian society that we can be. You know, I mean, it sounds naive, but it isn't. You guys are a bit younger than us, so do you feel that your generation may be the ones to make America what America was based on? I feel like it's the younger generation, to be honest, more than our generation. So I, t I think all the generations help. Well, you know, yeah, because we I, started. You know, your generation <laughs> empowered our generation. We empower the next one and so forth. That's how it right. is. You know, you just keep the telephone line going and keep the truth going and let people learn the positivity that turns the world for real and love. You know, spread that. I think it's also like, uh, to an extent, like it's it's not even about like which generation. It's all of us. You know, every generation. Because even even like uh, there there are parts. Um, all of the people that exist within society, like we all fit together to create society itself. And there are different roles for each generation to play and each person to play, um, depending on who they are, where they come from, and their experience. And uh, you know, so it's sort of. Uh, I guess it's, it's sort of like, it's not even just like up to one generation, it's up to all of them. It's you up know, to all of us to kind of there's a, there's a lot of musicians in the room. Andrew, of course, yourself, you're a musician too. Most people don't even realize this, but Andrew's a hell of a rocker. I'm, not a, find a, I'm not a musician, by okay. the way. Okay. But I, well, but no, 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 you, you played the flute a few times. Leave the skin <laughs> flute out of this. That's not even amplified. No, no, what are you, you talking about? Okay, you know. This is unbelievable. Well, I, I, was, unbelievable. I, I thought I was a plumber once. I, once. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, you guys, there's a lot of musicians in the room. Do you feel that Woodstock was almost as close as we ever came as a society to actually getting it? And what do you think went wrong? Bring it back. Because it would seem pretty close. It seemed like um, a lot of people were trying to get together on the same page and something went awry in the 70s. Do you think it could really happen again? Nice. Mm. It's the media. I I, I think John. it's media. I nice. think a lot of it's media. I haven't watched TV in months. It's just Everything insane. Except the actual people. I had more peace in my life during this COVID-19 pandemic when I stopped watching yeah. CNN. I stopped watching uh, Fox. I stopped watching everything. And you know what I started watching? This is us? Uh, reruns of Star Trek, man. Everybody was happy in there. there it was go. multiracial, man. And, and, yeah, you know? and, what's, and what's the lesson learned in Star Trek? Peace, exactly what love, we're trying and to, everything. We're trying you know to get just, done here. It, yep. it was harmony. Beam me up, Scott. Come on, man. Mike, what well, else I you sound got like for one of the hippies. Uh, Come on, man. What else you got for our steam guests well, here? We're running out of time. Got time for one more song? Oh, sweet. Oh, yeah. Want to go two? Can we uh, get Andrew Anderson on the stage? Absolutely. With you? Oh, yeah, we let's, have to. Let's do one more first. And then okay. We'll one All right, so we're going to take Andrew. A